They say sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. Right now, right now I'm losing bad. Stood on this stage night after night, reminding the broken it'll be alright. Right now. It's easy to sing when there's nothing to bring me down But what will I say when I'm held to the flame like I am right now? I know you're able and I know you can Sail through the fire with your mighty hand But Takes a little faith to move a mountain. Well, good thing a little faith is all I. They say sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. And right now, right now I'm losing bad. Stood on this stage night after night, reminding the broken. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time tonight, Lord, to be able to uh, spend with all of our friends here on the broadcast. Lord, we thank you for uh, protection from uh, from the trolls, and Lord, we just ask for uh, just for everybody's ears to be opened and for my mouth to be speaking the, the truth in, in your word, Lord. And uh, I ask this in your mighty, mighty son's name we pray. Amen and amen. What's up? What's up? How's it going? All right, all right, all right. Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome and thank you for all the invites, follows, shares, and super hearts. You guys are awesome. <coughs> um, regarding the super hearts, we gotta figure a way about uh, asking people to just to watch the replays. It would be uh, pretty cool if everybody were to go back. Uh, do it one more time for you. <laughs> you have to do it twice. <laughs> Every time. Really, really, really. Who am I? What's up, buddy? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see. Um, all right, so guys, how's everybody? I know, it's like the light. Oh, the light was like stuck. <laughs> all right, guys. I am Jason Wallace. I am a believer and follower of Jesus Christ. I am a prayer warrior and intercessor. Um, what was that? 
I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure what he wrote there, but uh, bless you. Bless you, uh, uh, Pastor Dave. Thank you. All right, guys. So, um, yes, I'm a, I'm a prayer warrior, an, inter an intercessor. It means I pray for you. So hold on to your prayer requests, and we will have them for you. We'll pray for you in a little bit. Um, Bible reader, devoted husband and father. I am a child of God. Right? These are some of the affirmations that are on the sheet that I'm going to show you in a couple minutes. Uh, I'm a child of God, a new creation in Christ, a saint, a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. I'm redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I know who I am. Do you guys know who you are? All right. I know I'm a very proud member of the Jesus Did It family, and um, I thank you guys for being here. So, guys, the Jesus Did It website has lots of useful things for all of us to be able to use. That's a good point Good point to know that um, you can always find our broadcast there. So like when Periscope's acting wonky like it is today and you can't find the you can't find anybody's broadcast, well guess what? You can always go back and, and come to Jesus Did It website, click on the link, it'll take you right to the person. You don't have to sit there and try to search and find. Um, so definitely take a look at that. Kim, thank you for joining. Is this what? Can't I uh, No, this is a... Uh, we're all followers of Jesus Christ here. And so thank you. Um, Jason, do you got to do it again? <laughs> Did you miss it, Caleb? I thought you came in right in the middle of it. You should be good. JR, JR, they, they, they want to vote. They want to vote whether whether we're going to replay the, uh, the red guys again. What do you think? Should we do it? All right, guys, so on the Jesus Did It website, there is some really cool hoodies and stuff like that. Know the song I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Um, what song am I talking about? Yeah, do it again. No, not yet. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Do it again. Well, let me find it. I'll take a look and see. Do you know who, you know who sings that? What? What's up with the Satan stuff today? Oh, Lord. <clears throat> we'll pray for you. Lord, Heavenly Father, just ask for protection from this broadcast. Lord, we, uh, you know, uh, all the uh, trolls that may be on here asking things about Satan and everything. No, you did not miss the song, buddy. Um, we got started a little bit late, but it's all right. So, guys, here we go. Um, on the Jesus Did It website, there's a scripture thought of the day. Keep it up, you're going to get blocked. I'm not playing games. Um, scripture thought of the day. The Jesus did it broadcasters. The broadcasters that we like to watch. All right. Right there. Right there is the affirmation sheet. Print that out. And uh, you, the person who keeps saying Satan, you should probably print that out. And uh, and uh, you should probably read that because uh, I think you need to know who you are uh, and, and, and what the Bible says you are. So, uh, so here we go. Guys, so, yes, the song is coming. The song is coming. So we'll prove to this guy that I do not love Satan. <laughs> That's so funny. So guys, yes, we're doing the song stuff here every night. And uh, today I was able to get a song done. And um, that's a good song. I like this song a lot. Um, it's probably one of the one of my more favorite ones. So um, <laughs> you can click the X by saying goodbye. That's right. Your comment has been noted. Thank you. All right, so check it out. We're doing Even If tonight. All right, so guys, let's go. Let's go check it out. See, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some, and right now, right now I'm losing back. Stood on this stage night after night, reminding the broken it'll be alright. But right now, oh right now I just can't. It's easy to sing when there's nothing to bring me down. What will I say when I'm held to the flame like I am right now? I know you're able and I know you can Save through the fire with your mighty hand But even if you don't My hope is you alone 
say it only takes a little faith to move a mountain. Well, good thing a little faith is all I have right now. But God, when you choose to leave mountains unmovable, oh, give me the strength to be able to sing it as well in my soul. I know you're able and I know you can save through the fire with your mighty hand. But So what'd you guys think? What'd you guys think? I see all tons of hearts. I saw lots of hallelujahs. Awesome. Guys, uh, this is what it's about. It's about sharing time. Listen, I never even thought, I don't even think I can sing very good, but, you know, um, <clears throat> but uh, just just coming on here to uh, spend time and, and, and just doing that there, very high. I would never go there. Yeah, I was. I felt it was a little, little. <clears throat> I could tell it was a little pitchy, but uh, hey, you never know how far your limits are until you test them, right? Right. It's the message too. Absolutely, absolutely. So we know. Yeah, we never know what uh, what our limits are until we test it, right? So, just remember that. Just because you think you might not be able to do something, try it. <laughs> I said pitchy. It was a little pitchy. A little pitchy. Uh, don't like going out and having to make church. Never feel like I'm walking. Uh, no, then you're not in the right place. You need to go to a church that welcomes you. Absolutely. All right, guys. So um, technology is not making me be great today, but at least the words are working. <laughs> but they're they're started like way far 33 so we're almost it's almost going to be starting over again so we'll be really good here to start in a couple seconds so guys thanks for all the hearts all the invites and follows and shares i do appreciate it um this uh yeah that's a great song isn't it isn't it it's just a great song so all right guys we're gonna get reading here in a second as soon as this thing gets done it's almost ready so we're gonna get going i'm pretty sure it'll catch up to me 
All right, so, and uh, we might have some, we might have some interesting names today that I might have to say. So it might might get interesting here. Liz, welcome, welcome everybody. Thanks, Rob. Thanks for joining everybody coming on the broadcast. I do appreciate you guys. Liz, I still need to talk to you. I gotta remember to talk to you. So the man of God from Judah. By the word of the Lord, a man of God came from Judah to Bethel, as Joabim was standing by the altar to make an offering. By the word of the Lord, he cried out against the altar, 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 this is what the Lord says, a son named Josiah will be born to the house of David. On you he will, uh, on you he will sacrifice the priests of the high places who make offerings here and human bones will be burned on you that same day the man got the man of god gave a sign this is the sign that the lord has declared the altar will be split apart and the ashes on it will be poured out the king the king jeroboam 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 something like this jeroboam some yes i keep messing this thing name up i'm sorry guys i uh, heard that the man of god cried out against the altar at Bethel. He stretched out his hand from the altar and said, Seize him. But the hand that was stretched out toward the man shriveled up so that he could not pull it back. Also, the altar was split apart and its ashes poured out according to the sign given by the man, man of God, by the word of the Lord. Then the king said to the man of God, intercede with your with the Lord your God and pray for me that my hand will be may be restored so the man of God interceded uh, with the Lord and the king's hand was restored Did you hear that okay so this dude prayed for him and uh, and his hand was restored okay just just think about that um, the king said said to the man of God Come home with me for a meal, and I will give you a gift. But the man of God answered the king, Even if you were to give me half of your possessions, I would not go with you, nor would I eat bread or drink water here. For I was commanded by the word of the Lord, You must not eat bread or drink water or return by the way you came. So he took another road and did not return the way that he had, he had come to Bethel. Or Bethel, if you guys like saying it that way. Um, not, not, not that there was a certain old prophet. Now there was a certain old prophet living in Bethel, whose sons came and told told them that all the man of God had done there that day. They also told their their father what uh, what he had what they had said to the king. Their father asked them, which way did he go, and his son showed him which road the man of God from Judah was taken. So he said to his sons, saddle the donkey for me. And then um, he saddled the donkey for him and he mounted it. And they rode after the man of God. He found him sitting under an oak tree and asked, are you the man of God who came from Judah? I am, he replied. So the prophet said to him, come home with me and eat. The man of God said, I cannot turn back and, I, uh, and go with you, nor can I eat bread or drink water with you in this place. I have been told by the word of the Lord, you must not eat bread or drink water there or return by the way that you came. The old prophet answered, I am, I am too a prophet, as you are. And an angel said to me by the word of the Lord, bring him back with you to your house so that he may eat bread and drink water. But he was lying to him. So the man of God returned with him and ate and drank in the house. While they were sitting at the table, the word of the Lord came to the old prophet who had brought him back. He cried out to the man of God who had come to come from Judah. This is what the word or this is what the Lord says. You have defied the word of the Lord, and have not kept the command that the word of the God has given you. You came back, and you ate bread and drank water in the place 
where he told you not to not to eat or drink. Therefore, your body will will not be buried in a tomb of your ancestors. When the man of God had finished eating and drinking, the prophet who had brought him back saddled up his donkey for him, and uh, as he went on his way, a lion met him on the road and killed him, and his body was left lying on the road, with both the donkey and the lion standing beside it. Some of the people who had passed by saw that the body was lying there, with a lion standing beside the body, and they went and reported it to the city where the old prophet lived. When the prophet who had brought him back from his journey heard it, he said, It is the man of God who, was, who, defined, or who defied the word of the Lord. The word, or the Lord has given him over to the lion which has mauled him and killed him, and as the word of the Lord has warned him. The prophet said to his sons, Saddle the donkey for me, and they did so. Then he went out and found the body lying on the road, with the donkey and a lion standing beside it. The lion had neither eaten the body nor mauled the donkey. So the prophet picked up the body of the man of God, laid it on the donkey, and brought it back to his own city to mourn over him and to bury him. Then, uh, then he laid the body in his own tomb. And they mounted, er, and they mourned over him and said, "Alas, my brother!" After burying him, he said to his sons, "When I die, bury me in the grave where the man of God is buried. Lay my bones beside his bones." For this message he declared by the word of the Lord against the altar in Bethel and against the shrines on the high places in the towns of Samaria uh, will certainly come true. Even after this, Jeroboam did not change his evil ways, but once more appointed priests for the high places from all sorts of people. Anyone who wanted to become a priest, he consecrated for the high places. This was a sin in the house of Jeroboam that, uh, that led to its downfall and to its destruction from the face of the earth. All right, guys, that's it. What happened to the old prophet? He should have had consequences for lying. You're right. Absolutely. Absolutely. I know it's a pretty interesting, right? You know what? Why, why did that guy not get to us? What's the topic here? A think the topic is... Jesus Christ. And uh, we're reading the Bible because I've never actually read the whole Bible from start to finish. So that's what we've been doing since December of this year. So I thank you for joining. We pray for people as well. And uh, and we just, uh, we fellowship and have a good time with everybody. So it's so interesting because Josh did a scope today on false prophets. Listen, God works in some pretty amazing ways and how he lines things up. Um, the broadcast from my church today was actually about um, similar type teaching. So, um, yeah, like lots of confirmation about being being prepared for this, you know. And uh, what what it shows there is that uh, you can't really trust everybody. So, you know, uh, you ha have to validate them, make sure that they're a true and honoring person. Just because they sound good doesn't mean they are good. Because their motives might be different. All right, guys. So every night we read from the Our Daily Bread. The Our Daily Bread is a free publication. All right. So who's the prophet that died? Uh, the one that went back and and didn't uh, didn't uh, you know abide by the Lord's commands. The Lord told him, Hey, listen, don't don't uh, don't go back. Don't go back to the town ever. You know, back the way you came. Don't ever come back to the town, and uh, don't eat or drink there. Basically, told him that. So what did the guy do? He got fooled. He got fooled by someone who he thought was a prophet, and he told him to come back and eat. And he should have just went, kept on walking. Should have kept on walking, and doing what the Lord said because uh, he would have been still alive. 
to uh, help out and be um, you know prophesy some more. So it's actually pretty funny. There's like probably a uh, a three second delay between all the broadcasts here. It's pretty interesting because I can see myself going like this a couple times, like four times. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, every night let's do a little reset here. I am Jason Wallace. I'm a believer and follower of Jesus Christ. I am a uh, a prayer warrior, an intercessor, a Bible reader, and uh, we just have some a good time here on this broadcast. I broadcast on Facebook, YouTube, um, and Periscope right now. Um, I have uh, all the workings done to be able to do it on Busker. I just need a little bit more computer. So uh, that's what we're praying for. We're praying for a favor or for a computer to show up or or some mysterious uh, money to land up in my PayPal. Who knows? <laughs> We're praying for it. So, um, you know, that's uh, that's one thing. God will provide when it when He feels it's His time to provide. So, um, and I'll just be obedient and be stay here until He says, right? Because uh, maybe it's not time to go on busker. Maybe He doesn't want me to go on busker yet. I'm not sure. So we just uh, we'll sit and be obedient. Um, and we'll try to make things work the best we can with what we have. Because um, technically I should be able to do it. So guys, uh, Our Daily Bread is a free publication. You should be able to get it at your church, maybe. If not, right there. Try to get some sleep. That's right. Absolutely. Right there. There's a website. Uh, odb.org. You can uh, definitely check out that website and uh, download the, um, the app also. So uh, check it out. All right, so for today, October, Sunday, October 22nd. Man, where's this month gone? It's almost over. It's crazy. Buskers is back. Yes, absolutely. Where are you from? <laughs> I could be uh, sarcastic here, but um, yeah, I, I'm uh, near Buffalo, New York. So Sunday, October 22nd. Um, the title is Love of Another Kind. It's written by Joel Stowell. One of my favorite churches started several years ago uh, as a ministry to ex-prisoners who were transitioning back into society. Now the church flourishes with people from all walks of life. I love that church because it reminds me of what I picture heaven to be like. Filled with different kinds of people, all redeemed sinners, all bound together by the love of Jesus. Amen. Sometimes, though, I wonder if church seems like more of an ex uh, here we go. Sometimes more like an exclusive club than a safe haven uh, for forgiven sinners. As people naturally gravitate into groups of certain kind and cluster around those that they feel comfortable with, it leaves others feeling marginalized. But that's not what Jesus had in mind when he told us, told his disciples, to love each other as I have loved you. His church was to be an extension of his love, uh, maturely shared with, or sorry, mutually shared with all. If hurting, rejected people kind uh, can find, <laughs> yeah, right, let me start that over. If hurting, rejected people can find loving refuge, comfort, and forgiveness in Jesus. They should expect no less from the church. So let's exhibit the love of Jesus to everyone we encounter, especially those who are not like us. All around us are people Jesus wants us to love through us. What a joy it is when people, when people unite to worship together in love. A slice of heaven we can enjoy here on earth. Amen. Lord, the prayer for today says, Lord, remind me today that while I was a sinner, you embraced me with your deep and unconditional love and brought me into fellowship of your grace. Lead me to someone I can love as you love me. Amen. The footnote says, share Christ's love with another. Today's reading was from John chapter 15 verses 9 through 17. And the key verse for today was uh, John chapter 15, verse 12. My command is this, love each other as I 
have loved you. All right, that's it. Follow Compass. Thanks for joining. All right, guys. We are in prayer request mode. So if you guys have any prayer requests or praise reports, please throw them in there. The most the most real church I've ever attended was made up of a large homeless group of people. That's right. I think you got that right. Absolutely. Um, the church that accepts you for what you are and how you are, that's the place you want to be, right? That, that's the place that everybody looks for in a church is the place that, you know, you, you can walk in with uh, dressed up in a suit or you can walk in dressed up in jeans and a t-shirt and they're going to treat you the same way whether you're dressed up in a suit or you're dressed up in jeans and a t-shirt you know God never said you have to wear a suit to church right but hey if you want to wear a suit to church go right ahead you know and and that and that's what it is you know we places like that you know if someone new walks into our church and and sits down you you better believe there's going to be a bunch of people going over and greeting that person, asking them how they're doing, where they live, what are they doing, what are they up to, you know, they're, because we want to make people feel exactly, want to feel loved, right? And and that's what actually drew me back into going to church, because there was a time where I didn't go to church. There was a time that I didn't even know who Jesus Christ really was, and that time was a, uh, you know, for, I was a long time. You know, um, but it wasn't until I went to this new church I was able to see, I was able to pull the pull the scales off my eyes and see, you know what what true love looks like and what how I needed to have a heart change like my my heart needed to be, you know I had to have a heart transplant basically not physically but but uh, you know spiritually I had to have a heart transplant. So that way I could change the way that I act. Um, because it, it is it is something that is, it haunts you, right? It haunts you. And, and still, there, uh, there are times even now that I can take, that I, that I can't take church, right? Right? I, uh, I, I listen to, uh, you know, go back to the old church we went to and, you know, I'm just like, or that old style of church, and and it's just that you know, I, it doesn't connect with me at all. You know, but now when I go, all right, when I go to that old church, I hear the words that are being said, even though they're very repetitious and they're pretty much the same things that are said every week. Um, but and now I listen to the words; they have a different meaning for me because now I know who Jesus Christ is. I have the Holy Spirit in me, right? I can feel His presence, right? And when the words are being said, I can understand them now. Whereas before, there there was not much, uh, you know, was not much receiving of that because I didn't I didn't understand it. And so, this has been a journey, and this is why I do this broadcast because uh, I was challenged. Right, uh, read your Bible. I was challenged to read my Bible, and then I had some guy named Rick sitting there going, "You got to read your Bible, dude. Come on here in Periscope and read your Bible." I'm like, "Well, okay." Now look at us, <laughs> we're reading the Bible, we're doing devotional, we're preaching a little bit, we're uh, sharing testimony, we're, uh, we're, we're just spending some good time with people. I've, I've connected with a large group of Jesus-loving people that are just some of the best people I've met, you know, and, uh, and, and this is cool because now I get to meet you now, <laughs> I get to meet you now on earth, before heaven, right? I mean, I will meet in heaven, that's for sure, but... You know, uh, it's nice to know you're here, right? And to connect and to learn more things from each other. You know, this is this is what it's about. This is what church is doing. Uh, not knocking it, but couldn't get it in the Catholic Church. That's that's same thing with me. That's that's where it was. I went to a Catholic Church for almost forty years. You know, I was taught very well. There's lots of good instruction. Their guidance was there. But my brain was not receiving it. My so my my spirit wasn't receiving it, right? And there was a point where where even you know every every uh, young person walks away from their faith when in their you know in their in their teenage years, right? So church is a building church church in a building is fellowship when it comes to church and fellowship with the Father. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's me. 
We're four and a half hours away. Close to meeting. That's right. Oh, you're in Albany, right? I think you said. We're in Albany. Yeah, I might actually be, depending on how things work, um, still Catholic, but sort of got it on my own. Hey, listen, and that's the thing, right? You don't have to be a particular denomination, right, to, to get it, right? If you got Jesus in your heart, right, it doesn't matter where you go to church, as long as they're preaching the preaching out of the Bible, and they are are um, they're speaking the name of Jesus Christ, and you're receiving it, and you're being filled, your spirit's being filled, and you are able to um, just be, what's the word I'm looking for? Big fancy church word. If you're being edified, right? If you're being edified by that, if you are able to um, just take that word and it makes a lot of sense to you, then you're in the right place, right? You're in the right place. A disciple of Christ is what I claim. Exactly. I'm a, I'm a disciple of Jesus Christ. If you look at my, my bio, that's what my bio says. You know, I go to a non-denominational church, and, and and you know what? I, I'm actually glad that the church is like that, right? His life in us makes us a difference. Got saved while you're still Catholic, see? I couldn't really even tell you the time that I was saved. All I can tell you is that when I accepted him, I can tell you that. That was only a few years ago. <laughs> and and most people would call it as their time of being saved. So even though I was a baby, when I was a baby, I haven't found a church. Um, stream service from San Diego works for now. Yeah, there's there's lots of um, there's lots of good places to go for church. And um, and really, what it is is you got to go test out the waters, right? You got to get get together, and you got to feel feel that that time with friends and people. You go to a Baptist church, but don't claim a religious name. I claim Jesus, absolutely. Yeah, and and that's the thing. If the place is is what's helping you, just remember that that you're, you're Catholic, and it works for you, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, there, there, there's really going to be no dividing lines, right? Some people feel that, that they, that, that, you know, you're, you're Catholic and you're, you're not saved or you're not, you're not, uh, whatever. But I'll tell you what, there are some certain good things between all different, um, denominations, right? There's some good points and some bad points, right? But, but here's what it is. It depends on how you take it, right? On how you receive it. It's up to you. It's your faith. It's your walk. It's not the church's responsibility to make sure that you feel and you have that relationship. It's not the church's responsibility. It's your responsibility. <laughs> it is your responsibility to make sure that you are saved and that you believe in Jesus Christ. No one can sit there and hold your hand and tell you that. right? No one can sit there and say, well, okay, because you did all these things, you know, you're, you're going to, you're a good person. You're going to heaven. No, no, you still have to do the work. Exactly. You have to do the work. And, and that's what it is. And I wasn't, ex I didn't understand that. Right. But now that's right. It's your responsibility. Your responsibility. Exactly. It is up to you to do this. And listen, there's people like me, there's people like Rick, there's other people on these broadcasts, like preacher man there that will help guide you right but it's still ultimately I can't I can't lead you I can lead you to Christ but I can't make you take that step I can't make you accept him I can't make your words be uh, be what it is right you know uh, I can't make you say that Jesus Christ is your Lord and your Savior I can say listen this is what you gotta say right and this is what you gotta do but I, yes right we can't save you Jesus already did it so all you gotta do is accept it <laughs> guy's got me all preaching tonight. I'm all sweating over here and stuff. <laughs> I can introduce you, but, but that's right. We can't save you. And don't get scared. Listen, if, if you're not, if you're not uh, accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior and you're on this broadcast, listen, don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid. Don't think that you're too dirty, that you're too broken, that you're too everything to be able to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. That's where he was. That's where he wants you to be. He wants you to walk to him right now, right? He wants you to walk to him right now, the way you are. Just lay it all on the table. Say, listen, I'm broken. 
I got this wrong, I got that wrong, and I got this wrong, and I need you, Jesus, to help me work through this. God, please help me through this. And watch what happens. Watch what happens. Never too dirty for Christ. You know what? <laughs> this is going to be funny a little bit. Listen, God's like your washer machine, right? You got to put all your dirty laundry in there, and you got to let it, being God, wash it. And let Him clean it for you. You got to do some work to get it there, right? You got to put it into there. You got to put some laundry detergent in. You got to do all that stuff. But you got to press that button start. Boop. <laughs> press that button start. Take the first step. Put your dirty laundry in. Give it to God. Let him uh, just uh, clean you up and help you through this. Because that's, uh, that's what it is. Holy Spirit is a dryer. Fresh and clean. Exactly. Exactly. Just watch out for the dryer sheets. Uh, the biggest problem is forgiving myself. Listen, you don't have to. What do you got to forgive yourself for? Give it to God, man. Give it to God. That's what my priest told me. See? He's a smart dude. He's been doing it for a while, so he must be, you know? I'm not sure what you're again. Good analogy. Listen, I don't know where that one came from, but it just popped in my head. It must have been about Sev talking about the laundry in the last broadcast that made me think about some stuff. But, you know. But, yeah. Wash your laundry. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was talking about the stuff. Yeah, don't get, don't forget to clean the vent. Exactly. Throw it out. If it's junk, throw it out. Put it in the garbage. Walk away from it. Still can't find that sock. I'm telling you, man, I was offering to the laundry gods. It's the paganism that's around you. <laughs> Jesus has a missing socks. <laughs> he has them. Yeah, he's took them right. Throw that dust away. Exactly. Exactly. Throw it in the garbage. You don't need it no more. You don't need any more. Uh-uh. Get rid of the baggage. Don't put it away. Hello, Ethlyn McGee. Thank you for joining. And Mark Andrew. And Janelle. Thank you for joining. I think you said your name right. Thank you for joining, Mark. Yeah, so guys, if you have any prayer requests or praise reports or anything like that, please throw it in the broadcast and we will pray for you. I'll put it in the type it in the thing here. It's dangling my son. Ah. <laughs> uh, that's it. Time to go to Walmart, get a couple some more pairs of socks, right? I have faith in Jesus, like you have faith in the light switch. <laughs> there you go. Turn it on, man. Turn it on. Let's get going. Let's light up this world. Let's show people what Jesus looks like. And you guys are doing it. A lot of you guys are doing it. Oh, you go to Target? I can't deal with Target. There's something about Target, just I can't deal with that place. Gives me creeps. <laughs> but yeah, there's um thank you for all the invites. That's right, salt it up. I'm being silly. Should go to the corner. Yeah, I guess so. Turn it into a butt dust rag. There you go. Wipe it away. So guys, any more prayer requests, praise reports, anything like that? Let's see what we got in here. Let's see what our broadcast is leaving us today with. 247 viewers have passed through this broadcast. I emailed one, but got one out shortly before you were ready to roll. Oh, you emailed me? I'll have to go check it out. Sweet. Problem is I go from this phone and I'll lose all my comments, but let me try. Let me do that. Let me do that right quick. Come on. Jesus did it. Craig's always in a corner. Yeah, Craig lives in a corner. That's pretty much his. Uh huh. Should be going on operations. Do you want me to, um,. Did, do you want me to share this with you, or is it... you want me to add it to the next one? Okay, because... We can do it to this one. It's fine. Um, if you want. 
you want to share, I can share it. That's alright, man. Get some rest. You know what? That's probably a good thing. Let's do this for next broadcast. Um, let's do this for next broadcast. I'll 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 uh, I'll bring it up. Um, we'll talk about it. Absolutely. All right, guys. If there's no no prayer requests tonight. That's going to be an awfully interesting. Um, either or. Oh, either or. Oh, then let's do it. We'll have something to talk about tonight. We'll have something to put in our in our wonderful thing. So we have a prayer request from our friend Joe there, Joe Hazen, and um, Joe just wants a, uh, he wants a prayer request for his uh, for healing for his cousin. Um, let's check this out, Joe. Prayer request for cousin who has been diagnosed with. Um, I'm sorry for her um, cervical and breast cancer. Cervical and breast cancer. All right, let's do this. Let's get some healing flowing here. Lord, Holy Father, we uh, lift up Joe's cousin tonight, Lord. You didn't give me a name, but that's fine. Uh, you know who she is, Lord. You know where she where she is and what what she has got going on with her, Lord, um, because she is one of your children, Lord. Um, you you know that uh, she has the cervical and the breast cancer, Lord. Both those cancers, Lord. Lord, we just uh, we speak to that cancer and we we uh, we command it to shrivel up and be gone, Lord. Let let the um let let there be a miracle here, Lord. Let uh, let the 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 cells be uh. Be regenerated back to normal cells, Lord. Let the cancer cells shrivel up and, and, and just be, uh, you know, gone away out of her body. Lord, we command healing in her body in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we, uh, and, and if it's not, it's not, not going to be happening that way, Lord. We, uh, we just ask that the doctors that she's going to be going in, into the surgery with, that the doctor's hands are, are steady and that the, uh, the, the surgeon's minds are, and eyes are are focused in on uh, fixing that uh, th those problems there, Lord. We ask for uh, for continued healing through through that whole process, Lord. Or let let the let the job be uh, be uh, easy for them to be able to get rid of. Let there be no complications, Lord. We just ask this in Your mighty mighty Son's name. We pray, Amen and Amen. Guys, if I missed a broadcast here or missed any. Uh, chats in there. That's right. Keep Carrie in your prayers. Oh, that's right. Lord, we lift up Carrie uh, as she is in need of a heart and a liver, Lord. Lord, we just ask that um, that um, that there that there's a way made, Lord, for her to be able to get this, uh, the kidney and the liver. Right, kidney. I don't have my egg drop right now, so give me a second. Uh, heart and liver, sorry. Heart and liver. I don't know why I said kidney. Well, you know why? I know why. Because there's someone at our church that we're praying for um, who is, her name is Carrie as well. And uh, she is in need of a kidney and kidneys and, yeah, kidneys and um, she already had her heart transplant. I think that's what they said. Carrie um, for heart and liver transplant. I can come back to my comments here. Sorry, guys. If I missed your comment, please throw it back in there again. I'll come back to Joe's email here in a second after we pray for Carrie. Um, so, Lord, Heavenly Father, we lift up uh, Carrie tonight to you, Lord. Again, Lord, we know that uh, you know who she is, Lord, and where she's doing and what's going on with her. Lord, Carrie, Carrie has heart and liver problems, and you know that. Oh, boy. That was, like, very, very, very badly spelled my fat fingers on the keyboard please transplant please fix that transplant Lord we just ask that the, that the, that there be a way for her to get uh, the transplant that she needs Lord um, we just ask that um, that there that there be a way that um, that there is uh, healing in her body Lord let the uh, let the liver and the heart be uh, be rejuvenated. 
And Lord, we, we speak, we command healing in her body. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen for your cousin as well. Yeah, please pray for me. Just divorced and homeless. You're needing a car. So that was who? Eth Ethel. Ethel and McGee. See, I'm so used to grabbing the paper and the pen. I'm not used to doing this. The typing out stuff is pretty cool. So that was a good suggestion by our friend, uh, by our friend uh, Kim. She's like, hey, why don't you type it out? I'm like, oh, you know, that's not a bad idea. Cervical. No, cervix, like in her, her girl parts. It would be the cervix, right? Cervical, that's usually what they call it. Pray for Ethel McGee. Ethel and McGee. Um, just a horse. Uh, homeless. And need of transportation. Lord, Heavenly Father, we lift up yep, the girly parts. The girly parts. Lord, we lift up uh, our friend tonight, Lord, to you, Ethel McGee. Lord, she has a uh, need of a uh, she's just gone through a divorce and now she has left herself, found herself to be homeless, Lord. And Lord, we just, uh, we, we know that she's in need of some, some place to live, some shelter, Lord, as well as uh, transportation, you know, a car or something like that, Lord. But so we ask for favor in her direction, Lord. Lord, give her, give her the strength and the abilities to be able to go and, um, <clears throat> be able to, uh, make some money to be able to provide for herself, Lord. And Lord, if there is, uh, Anyone that can help her out in the area there, Lord, let them help her out. Let them, uh, let them, you know, be a, be a blessing to her by by uh, helping to provide her with a car, you know, that is uh, something that she can afford, Lord. We just uh, ask this in your mighty, mighty Son's name, Lord. We ask this in Jesus' mighty name. We pray, Amen and Amen. Looks like Becky's probably going to be getting ready. Thanks. English is a second language. No problem, Stefan. Gina, your foreigners lost a baby and she needs a new Oh my goodness. Wow. The rest of that was just to explain what led me to your scope. No prayers necessary. Got it. Gina has problems again. She lost a baby and the baby needs a new liver. That's a wow. Lord Heavenly Father, we lift up uh Liz's student uh Gina tonight, Lord. Um Lord, her uh, her student uh, Gina is uh, has uh, lost a baby, Lord, and we uh, we know that there's probably a reason for that, Lord, and we just uh, we just ask that you you comfort uh, Gina uh, in the loss, um, and, and Lord, we just ask that uh, you uh, you give her the strength and ability to be able to endure this uh, that that um, you know that that event, Lord. Lord, we just also ask for favor for her in the direction of her liver. Lord, we command healing in her liver. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And amen. Man, what's up with all the livers today? There's lots of liver problems. Wow. Comfort from loss. From loss of baby. And needs liver transplant. Man, it's like the third person I've known that, that's in need of a liver transplant. Or in some type of healing in it, right? Wow. Stefan, I'm not sure if I got your prayer request in. Did you write a prayer request out? I'm trying to go back through to see if I caught, caught it or not. Because all I see is a comment that said, oh, cervical. Oh, oh, so, oh, you were the one to ask about the cervical stuff. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. It's all good now. It is clear. Crystal. Crystal clear. God, you're okay. Good, good, good. Awesome. Oh, see what that sign means? That sign means that I am tired. Truth is, I'm tired. 
I went and I found that song so I could probably try to sing that and um, that is a super super tough song for me to sing so that might take some time that's usually what I do when I do the singing I usually uh, keep my children and family in prayer sure absolutely do you have anything specific you'd like to say about that or just uh, your protection or, or guidance or you know what 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 type of prayer should be? God's in the specifics, right? He wants to hear your your innermost feelings, right? He wants to hear your innermost uh, things. But obviously, if you if you don't want to share with it, it's fine. But if you uh, need guidance or, or anything like that or, or protection, just let us know, and we'll we'll pray specifically about it. Um, Lord, Heavenly Father, we lift up uh, Katrina. Was it Katrina? Right protection. All right, God. Lord, Holy Father, we lift up Katrina tonight and her and her children, Lord, and her family. Lord, we, we just uh, we, we speak over them tonight, Lord, and we just ask for protection in Jesus' mighty name for her and her family, Lord. Lord, allow them to be able to uh, to just be able to um, um, be able to do whatever it is that they need to do to be able to, to find themselves peace and protection, Lord. So we ask this in your mighty, mighty son's name we pray. Amen and amen. I'm gonna put you on a list here, Katrina. Listen, guys, if you're not going to, if you're not um, following already on Facebook, right there is the link right down there. Um, I put the prayer requests up there every night, uh, or the next morning, or sometime around there. But I usually do that. Yep, yeah, Amen. So, um, so definitely, if you if your prayer gets answered, and um, and you can't make it back to. Uh, um, on the broadcast here to be able to let us know we would really like to know so um, definitely um, if, if you uh, please pray for your friend's husband who went into a coma today oh my goodness do you have his name do you have his name stuff all right Katrina protection for children and family. Be right back. Okay. Friend's husband. So, Steph. And she had a uh, friend's husband went into a coma today. Friend's husband. Guys, any more prayer requests or praise reports? I think I dropped just crashing, so no big deal there. What happens every night? <sighs> egg drop crashing. It wouldn't be a night without an egg drop crash. All right, so guys, any more prayer requests or praise reports? Unspoken for some two joy. You got it. <clears throat> and there's egg drop. He's back again. <laughs> Lord, Holy Father, we lift up our friend uh, Cynthia tonight, Lord. Uh, Cynthia has asked for unspoken prayer requests, Lord. You know where that is, Lord. What her what her intentions are, Lord. Or we just uh, lift our lift her intentions up to you tonight, Lord. And we ask that um, that you um, that you uh, if it is your will, Lord, that that it be uh, that it be received. And uh, Lord, we ask that the, that that prayer be answered in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen and amen. <clears throat> I put a couple stars there by stuff because uh, she said she'll be right back. I just wanted to make sure that um, um, I guess she wants to make sure we got his name. So um, no problem, no problems. I also need to pray for Shazia and the other Christians. Listen, I watched her broadcast today, um, this morning, 
month before I went to church and I really wish I really wish I could understand her language because it was it was uh, it was really great seeing her um, seeing her broadcast it wasn't it wasn't it I was able to catch it live did you catch any of it live or did you or was it um, or did you watch the replay thank you um, thank you Craig thank you Craig yeah it was pretty cool um, I just I wish I could speak her language <laughs> I wish I could speak her language. I wrote some stuff in her language on a, on a, using my translator keyboard. Um, so I just tell her God bless you and, and all your congregation and stuff. Um, you watch the replays, yeah. Yeah, she is, absolutely. And that's what it is. You know, she's leading people to Christ, and that is amazing, you know what I mean? And, um, and she hasn't been on here today, so she must be uh, must be sleeping in. Because uh, it's it's very early in the morning there for her, so she must be sleeping in, or getting ready to do some something great for the kingdom today. Um, Cynthia and I were on the same same point. Oh, that's awesome! Awesome, awesome. All right, I'm not sure if uh, Steph's going to be back, so we'll just pray for Steph's friend. Lord, Heavenly Father, we lift up Steph's friend tonight. Lord, uh, her husband, and that family. Lord. We we just pray over um just pray that the children will have proper clothes and but praise God that they yes, yes. Lord we uh we pray over Steph's friends friend's husband tonight, Lord. Um he's in a coma today, Lord. We just uh we speak to that coma. We we uh we command healing in his brain, Lord. Lord, we ask that coma to be relieved in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Lord give them give them um strength and just give them the ability to uh to just be there for uh, her and her husband lord let uh let uh, friends and family um just come come around all of them and, and comfort them in this time of need lord we ask this in your mighty mighty son's name we pray amen amen <clears throat> all right we had here cynthia wanted about there we go for pastor shazia got it All right, his name is Jacob. I just prayed, so that's fine. Lord, we uh, this person that we just prayed for tonight, Lord, this person's name is Jacob, and you know who he is, Lord. Lord, it's uh, Steph's friend's husband, Jacob. Lord, we 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 uh, we command healing in his brain in Jesus' mighty name. We pray for this coma, Lord. Uh, let 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 it be uh, relieved, and let let um, Lord, let let those around him uh, just uh, come around and love on him and show him. Um, that, that he is still needed here, that he needs to come out of that coma. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. I got you back there because I figured we need to do that. Hey, no problem. Thank you for joining allowing me to be able to pray for you. It is an honor. It is an honor to be able to pray for you guys. Um, it's something that God's asked me to do, so this is what we do. We pray for people. All right. Lord, Heavenly Father, we lift up... Um, Cynthia has wanted to lift up Pastor Shazia in Pakistan. Lord, we uh, we just uh, we we uh, we 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 speak to her whole entire ministry there, Lord. Lord, we uh, we ask for uh, for for provisions and favor for them uh, to be able to uh, uh, be able to raise funds to be able to um, to continue growing the church in Pakistan. Lord, we just ask that um, that uh, that that there be enough Bibles and there be enough. Um, uh, transportation needs that are met, and Lord, let let the um, let the people um, just uh, uh, just realize that they need you, Lord. Let let them realize that they need you, and they need to walk away from the Muslim walk, Lord. And let let them know who you are, and just that, Lord, we ask this in your mighty, mighty Son's name. We pray. Oh, and for clothes, Lord, for clothes for the children, Lord, so that way they can be properly covered from from uh, from protection from the from the uh, from the elements. And Lord, we just ask for space for them to be able to, to be able to uh, conduct their business, their 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 church. Let them be able to conduct things for the church, all the ministry things that are going on, the distributions and things like that. Lord, we uh, pray for a bigger school for them, Lord, so that way they can better minister and better teach the kids there how to speak and how to read and how to and and what it means inside the Bible. Lord, we just ask that uh, that you um that you help. 
help help her out and and her team uh, in this in this urgent matter, Lord. So we ask this in your mighty mighty Son's name. We pray. Amen and amen. See me on church. Yep, the person who responded to you was me. Did you see me respond to you? Said hi, Craigbot. <laughs> I was watching the uh, I was watching the chat stream today. So uh, when I saw you come on, Craig, I was like, all right, I'm going to give a little thing there that, so that way you knew it was me. You didn't know it was me? River of Life is here. Jay, Vaughn, how you doing, buddy? Blessings, blessings. Jay Vaughn is the super late night scoper. He's usually on after Becky. <laughs> um, and uh, we give him, uh, we pray, pray for him. Um no, why why was I there? Why I was there? That's right. What's up? What's up? <laughs> uh, as you can tell, I'm getting tired. And it's getting close to Becky go on time. So guys, um definitely you want to put your last minute prayer requests in here. Otherwise you can certainly take them right on over to Becky's broadcast. You skip church today, you're playing hooky. Ooh, you're sinner. Ooh, you're bat. Ooh. Everybody go, oh, Greg, that's not, that's not good, Craig. <sighs> oh, man. Craig to the core, exactly. But you know what? He came to church on my, on my, on my church's broadcast. So, uh, I'll, I'll give him a, I'll give him a little bit of, I'll give him a little bit of slack for that, right? That's right. Ooh, you bad. <laughs> hey, Lisa, how you doing? Thanks for, uh, I think you were, you thought you said you were leaving. Um, but thanks for staying. Guys, if you have any prayer requests or praise reports, otherwise, I'm going to shut it down. I would have been late, super late, but I had lots of trouble getting ready. Yes, yeah, it's, it's happened sometimes. Sometimes you got to, you know. Uh, you went to a Spanish Mass today. It was pretty pretty nice. I actually like the Spanish Mass. Spanish Mass is pretty cool. Uh, Spanish uh, services, right? You can't sleep and you're very tired. What I tell you, Lisa, put the phone down. Put that phone on the other side of the room. Turn it off. Go lay down. Get some sleep. You gotta walk away from that technology. You gotta turn it off and turn it away and put it on the side. Turn off all your notifications. <coughs> Sorry, guys. You gotta turn it off there. Yep, don't miss the next one. Exactly. Exactly. That egg drop is breaking left and right over here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Pray for our humanity to return. That's a pretty big prayer, but certainly we can do that. Uh, Lord Heavenly Father, we have yeah, sneezing or what? I know, right? Lord Heavenly Father, we uh, uh, Katie Joe has asked for um, um, has asked for um, a return of our humanity, Lord. Lord, does she, we, we all know that there is a degradation in our societies, Lord. And Lord, we just, uh, we, we ask for, um, for our governments and our, our leaders and all the governments to, to realize that, um, that, uh, that we need to, we need to fix some stuff that we need to stop, um, being focused on, on the wrong things and to, uh, and to really, Go back to our roots, Lord, and let let things be returned back to um to to what it means to be um a human being, right? Our our purpose here on Earth is to is to praise our Lord and to um and to uh, provide for ourselves and be able to uh, live with each other and be able to uh, take care of this place that He has given us. Shutting the phone off. All right. Good. 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 And Lord, we, we, we know that this is what you want from us. You want from us to be able to, um, uh, even though we are walking in this world of trouble and, and uh, things that are darkness and things that are going on around us, uh, what, what would be deemed as paganism back in the biblical times, Lord. Lord, we, we, just, uh, we ask for all of the Christians to stand up and walk and, 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 and be faithful to you, Lord, as well as um, obedient to the governments, Lord. Let let but let the governments realize that that we have a say as well. 
or let, let them uh, speak to them and let them show them what direction you want uh, our country and our world to be going towards Lord Lord we just ask this in your mighty mighty son's name we ask for some intervention here Lord to uh, to help out our leaders to help bring things back to 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 right to less government to less laws to less trouble to less people whining and crying about things that that uh, that really are not should not be our concern we should focus on our family focus on ourselves focus on you god and focus on our relationships with others with our church Lord, we, we, we need this. We need a strengthening of our of our church body. Lord, we just ask that you speak to all of our church body as well, Lord, and uh, and, and just uh, help lift us up and help keep us closer to you. Lord, let let uh, let let eyes be opened and hearts be softened and, and minds be minds be cleared and, and and let people understand and hear what is going on, Lord. Let them think about how to use that brain that you've given us, Lord, to be able to uh, fix these problems that we have going on in our in our society today. So, Lord, we, we speak to that, and we just ask for for your guidance and your your assistance and your help with this, Lord. We ask this in your mighty mighty Son's name. We pray, Jesus Christ, please help protect us from all of this, Lord, and guide us and direct us in your mighty mighty name. We pray, Amen. That was a big prayer. I had to go big. So, sorry. That was a big one. <laughs> Absolutely. God, woo. <laughs> Who is that? Desert. Disney. Disney baby. So, that's, we got Liz. We got the Liz on here. Liz is on here. <laughs> Amen. Man, my egg bot is breaking left and right over here. Only have four and a half hours of sleep. Well, you got about a half hour more sleep than I did, so that's good. Hey, hey, hey. I know, right my forehead, man. Oof. It's all sweated up. <laughs> I gotta find the. I don't have any. Nothing. I got nothing up here. I'll have to use my sleeve next time. <laughs> that was a. That was a heavy one. Restoration. Restoration of humanity. Oof. Five a.m. to nine thirty. I wish I'd get that sleep. You don't understand. You got kids? Man. My kids? Nope. 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 I'm just doing spell check here. That was huge. That was huge, wasn't it? Huge. It was huge. Um, her friend's name was... Uh, I don't even know if it's in the chat stream here. You know who I haven't seen in a while? I'll probably have to reach out to her. Is Angie? Has anybody seen Angie in a while? Angie 095. Every once in a while, certain people touch my. You no, know, they're they're Jacob. His name is Jacob. Ignore. Should see yeah. Ignore. Ignore Katie. Restoration. Yeah. Learn how to spell restoration, Wallace. There we go. Have I seen Angie lately? I don't know. I haven't seen her in a while. Humanity. There we go. How about humanity? And her friend's husband's name was Jacob. My husband Jacob. There we go. There it is. Let me put the trial on. Hey, maybe that's what happened. Maybe your sh your sock shrunk. <laughs> maybe your sock shrunk. That might be what it is. All right, guys, it is getting close to the 1 a.m. hour here on my on the East Coast, and um, <laughs> guys, uh, it is time to get some rest. Time to get uh, rejuvenated. All right, we're gonna go over. We're we're gonna go over. It's a limp ball now, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's blown outside. Blessings to you too, um, guys. Our West Coast crew will be coming on very, very, very soon. Uh, West Coast crew, by by that I mean uh, at Becky twelve twelve will be coming on pretty soon to pray for you. Uh, Jason, I requested that you sing on karaoke. Um. So, oh, we want to do another song. Is that what we want to do? 
We'll do another song. We'll do another song on the way out. Thanks. Well, thanks for coming on the broadcast. I appreciate you guys. Yo, what's up, Adam Miller? Thanks for joining, K. Joe. I, off, I, I, I just, I, I thank every single one of you guys coming on here. I'm telling you, praying for people is what God has asked me to do, and I, I'm trying to be obedient with that. And, um, and uh, it's just, a, it's an honor to be able to do that for you guys. Uh, get some rest. Absolutely, get some sleep. <laughs> get some sleep. <laughs> we now have a West Coast crew. Yes, we do. At Becky twelve twelve. And go check her out at JesusDidIt.org, and you can click on her link, Becky, Becky Ryan, her name is now, at Becky1212, that's the one you want to follow. Um, Becky will definitely help you, um, uh, she'll pray for you, she has some great stories, she's been through a lot of things with her life, and, and she would definitely hear. You're on, the you're on the west side, that's right, you're on the west coast, the left coast. <laughs> um, it must be Becky, you are absolutely right, absolutely. Oh, you're over there too, aren't you, uh, Adam? You're over in in, uh, in uh, California, right? The West Side. There you go. Well, we got. That's right. We got a lot of the West Coasters on now. There's uh, Liz is there. We got Sev. We got Adam. Yep. Uh, hey guys, why don't you do this? Why don't you guys put in where you're coming from? Come on, let's do it. Let's do it up. All right. So we're going to pray on out here, um, and I'm just gonna thank you guys. Thank you for joining me on this journey from Genesis to Revelation one chapter at a time. Guys, we've been doing this since December of last year and uh, I think it was December. Yep, I'll have to go back and double check. I think it was December. But yeah, thanks for thanks for joining me. I, I do appreciate your presence here. Guys, uh, your prayer request and, and just uh, your fellowship and, and just showing showing your love by, by ways of, of your, your communicating with me and chatting and and um, the hearts and all the invites and follows and shares and and all the love that you guys have been showing super hearts all that stuff and replays replays hint hint replays guys replays please <laughs> we gotta figure a way to do that yes good night to those that are going to sleep and we show up and you guys still show up I know right you put up with me every day I do appreciate it um, so guys thank you for joining me um, all right so uh, let's pray on out Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time to be able to spend spend with our friends here tonight, Lord. Lord, we um we have brought a bunch of prayers to you tonight, Lord. We lift them up to you, and we just ask that uh, that you receive these prayers, Lord, and that they are uh, that they are completely received, and that they are, if it is your will, Lord, that they are that they are answered in your mighty, mighty Son's name. We pray about that, Lord. And speaking of your mighty Son, Lord, we are very thankful for your Son who came here and walked on this earth for 33 years, who showed us what a perfect and sinless human being is supposed to look like. Lord, you, uh, you, you, you took all of our sins away by dying on the cross. Lord, you took all of our sins up on the cross with you, and then you, you, you took them away. You were the atonement for us, and you are the one. You're the Messiah, and you prove that, Lord. You prove that through, um, through, you're rising again. Angie, I was just speaking about you. <laughs> Lord, we, uh, we, we, we thank you for, for, for the deed you did, dying on the cross. And then you, you, you rose again three days later after being put in the grave. And then you, uh, then you ascended to heaven and said that you'll be back again one day. So, Lord, as we patiently wait for that time that you come back, we, we worship you, we praise you, and we give you thanks, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We were just speaking about you, Angie. I was like, man, where's Angie? I haven't seen Angie in like a long time. And then all of a sudden, I look up, open my eyes real quick, and I see you there. That is so amazing. <laughs> I was just saying, where's Angie? I haven't seen her in a while. That's awesome. <laughs> see, the Lord works in mighty, mighty ways. All right, guys, we're going to do a song out. Who wants to do the song? What, what are we going to do? What song are we going to do tonight? Let me go pull up the, sh the, the song list. Let's pull up the song list and we'll play a song on the way out. And we got 103 songs it looks like we can pick from, so that's pretty amazing. I didn't think I had 103 songs that we could pick from. So we got Even If, that's the new one from today. Been super busy, stressed out, and try to pop in now and then. Well, thank you for trying to pop in, that's awesome. Alright, so we've, Even If, we have Jesus at the center. Uh, we want to do a worship song, so Still, that's a, that's a group song. Uh, Heart of Worship. Um, you're beautiful. We'll do a couple songs. You know what? 
Is, is that one in here? Is that one in here? Who am I? Where is he? Is he here? Already, already boogie on out. All right, well, I'll wait and I'll see if Edwin comes on. Well, I'm going to play a couple songs here, and then you guys can uh, be blessed until the time that um, Becky comes on. Crazy train, yeah. <laughs> yep. Guys, just know that Jesus loves you. And, uh, and you're joking. I just, I don't, wait, I'm going to stop this for a second. Hold on, let me stop this song for a second, and I'll replay it. Guys, uh, uh, like I said, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you guys, um, and just remember uh, that uh, that I love you, and know that uh, Jesus loves you, and uh, know that every single member of the Jesus Did It family loves you. Take a look at the website. Go bless them. They will bless you, no doubt. You will be you will be, uh, you will be blessed by the, by the words that are said by by the rest of the broadcasters and the Jesus Did It group. So, guys, take it easy. Have a nice night, and just remember, be blessed. Jesus at the center of it all Jesus at the center of it all From beginning to the end It will always be, it's always been you, Jesus 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 at the center of it all Jesus at the center of it all From beginning to the end It'll always be, it's always been you, Jesus 
it all, through it all, my eyes are on you. And through it all, through it all, it is well. Through it all, through it all, my eyes are on you. It is well. With 
with me.